what's going on. Hopefully you're not giving uh, Merck on, see, I've been saddled with that 1900 forever. You're not going to give Merck another reduction in their property values. I meant to say that, but I forgot. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, we beat. Robert Ordway, Chief Financial Officer, Tax Collector. I'd like to clarify one thing. No municipality in the state of New Jersey votes on assessments. No mayor and council in the state of New Jersey ever decides assessments. The assessments for any property are decided by three entities. The tax assessor, the county tax court, and the state tax court. Those are the only three entities by state statute that can set assessments. You can offer advice, but you have no say whatsoever in what assessments are set. And that's by statute. And that's by separation, so that there's no problems and no ambiguity or no um, doing anything for friends for assessments and so forth. The assessor, the county tax court, and the state tax court. You had nothing to do with the Merck assessment at all. Thank you very much. Well, I, I'm sorry, but I, in all fairness to you people, um, I think that what was just delivered either is accurate and was not told to you from the beginning, or was not recommended to this borough that you people vote against what the people found to give them a reduction. If I want a reduction in my property, I go to the tax assessor and he evaluates it. I don't know where it goes from there. He comes back and says yes or no. My contention is that when or well, whoever reduced reduced the valuation of the Merck property, that that should have gone to the state and been appealed. Now, I don't know what he's alluding to that you don't get to vote for. You, the final consent had to be signed by this mayor and council. No, right. not absolutely not. All right, well, let's, let's get that so the public understands. The council does not have that. Then problem. why did the council have any reason to discuss any part of it? If you had no voice in it, that's what he's alluding to. You had no voice. The tax assessor informed the council of the, um, the reduction in the, in the taxes and through, through obviously, negotiation. And you guys did nothing. You had no, no vote, no nothing. They're not allowed to. No, but I'm saying, no consent, they had nothing. It was... When you were mayor, did you ever vote or consent on any assessment in this town? When you were I, mayor? Absolutely not. We're talking about assessment. I'm talking about a reduction in the property values that... You're talking about the assessed value. I understand. That's what I'm alluding to. You, this property was reduced $70 million over two years. $70 million. And not one resident in this borough got a nickel reduction in their assessed value. My question up to you and to him is why, where do we find that that property should have been reduced $70 million for Merck, who's a billion dollar corporation? And I'm glad he's saying what he's saying, because now I take issue with him not recommending you people to fight it in the courts. It would have been three, four, five years, and then we'd have three years to pay it if we lost. We all made an informed decision on what would have happened if we had gotten to court and we had lost. Well, so you're 19. It couldn't hurt us. So it could hurt us. It could hurt us. It, it, could hurt us. it almost bankrupted the town, correct? That's so correct. So instead of your. You, Go ahead, the, finish. Instead of your 19, you could be now saddled, so you say, with three, four thousand. No. So we made, okay. No. May I, I'm sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. I was, we were charged, the county's charges were 880 million assessed valuation to counter. It was reduced by them giving Merck $70 million reduction over the two years. We still had to pay $880 million. If he had recommended, he and his cohorts had voted on this, had recommended to the borough, listen, that's a shot. Why don't you appeal it? And if we appealed it and lost, we would have been paying for the following, let's say it took five years, for the following three years, it would have been adjusted. 
on our tax bill. We automatically accepted it and said that will, the town will give Merck the 70 million over the two years. That's what we did. And the arguing and the back and forth lawyer that would have been for free? What well, are doing back and forth for the But well, we're just going to sit here and take it, right? You said you fight it. You mean the appeals? The borough attorney appeals. Right. At a cost. Okay. Right. Well, he's well, he's free. Wait, 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 wait. How many of you are going to answer? We're all going to answer. You know how to run a meeting? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Talk. We, we can also talk. And, and you have brought this up every single time you come in here. And you've berated the council, and you've berated uh, Mayor Fiamingo, and it's really unfair because the cost of having an attorney go after an appeal, which probably would have taken three to five years, and as Councilman Corbelli said, could have possibly bankrupted the town. And and we have had a history where things come back and lawsuits come back and really hurt the town financially. And it is hard economic times, and nobody wanted what happened at Merck to happen, but it is unfortunate. It was the best deal that we could have made, and there was a history that it was based on with other towns that, that Merck was in. So we felt for the, the better betterment of the town, it was the best of a very bad situation. Now, hopefully, we all went to a breakfast not too long ago there, and they are trying, they're, I think, rebuilding and, and restaffing some of their buildings. So when an assessment comes again, maybe it'll go back to, not where it was, but better then. And we're trying to build, and they have opened up their doors to us to be a more um, welcoming entity in town as the great relationship we had with Sharon Plow. So, it's unfortunate what happened. Nobody wanted it. We all live here and we all took a hit as well. But it was the best decision that could be made in a very bad situation with the advice of counsel and the assessor. And, you know, lawyers aren't cheap and they're not free. And it wouldn't have been done in a month or a year. This would have gone on and on and on. And then you run the risk of the assessment even being greater. If we lose, so then on top of paying legal fees, and it wouldn't just be one attorney, it would have been an army of attorneys, it could have been worse than what it was. Uh, excuse me, Tony, would it, have, would it have gone back to 2011 uh, if they me. had won? If they had won, the or initial... More, or more. Every year that the, the appeal starts adds another year. Okay. So if anyone had five years, you would have had five years worth of a million or more, so that's five million plus whatever, if it was just at what we settled at. If it was higher, you're obviously talking higher. I understand. And the burden of paying that would have been completely on the municipal side. Not the school board, but the municipal side only, all five million. Yeah, so just to think about that, basically the rebating money is already spent by the borough. Can I? We obviously can't change your mind. Well, we've already done it, but I'm Mr. Giordano doesn't understand something. And I'm going to correct her immediately. You assess the improvement to the property. Because they open another building and get employees in there does not increase their assessed valuation for the property and then the improvement to the property. That's not going to change. You've given them $70 million of reduction in the assessment for the land and the improvement. That cannot increase. You can't go back and reassess. You cannot do that. So your statement is totally out no, of I didn't Let me finish. Go back and you, you said it looks like they're gone, and we may get it I back. Mean, we're hoping that. You that, can't, that actually, we're hoping that they don't leave. You can't listen. The Can reason you they didn't they close up like they did at White House Station. Will you let me finish? I'm going to do what I said. Okay. You I you have to understand that the reduction of property value makes that property more saleable. And if you read some of the things that were written about it, it was in a paper by reporters and everything else, if Merck doesn't find it comfortable and they are not finding access to doing what they want, they can sell it now at $70 million less than it was before, the assessed value. So if I'm a buyer, I'm buying now. You saved $70 million of that assessed valuation. Number two, let me finish it. We could argue this appeal that you're talking about goes to the state. 
and the state decides whether it is or it isn't. It isn't a bunch of attorneys sitting in a room. You tell me, Mr. Giovanni, you made the comment. Tell me what town and how much they spent. I've done the research. I'm going to wait for you to do it. What town spent what amount of money to appeal and lost? And that loss caused that town to almost go bankrupt. I've never heard that. And I've got four towns. And four, let me finish. Four towns that it's done. But anyway, you could have appealed it, and it would have cost one. Normally, it's, we lost about a million two hundred and fifty thousand approximate figures. Don't know me. So for two years, we lost two million five hundred thousand dollars in taxes, which I and you are picking up. If we had appealed it, it would have been to the state, not a battery of attorneys. It would have been to the state. Would we have spent two point five million dollars in attorneys' fees? Come on, folks. All right, this is a discussion for another time. It's too late, but I, you from saddled the spur for years to pay that assessment. Hey, Tom White, Rock from Kingston Avenue again. One question, basically, for our assessor. I'm um, blessed with a good memory. Back when Sherry and Cloud owned the place, and they put up all the new buildings. We, I, sh I should advise you, I am not the assessor. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, I'll try to answer the question if I can, but... Okay, you would probably know anyway. When Sherman Cloud first started putting up all these new buildings, we gave them a huge property tax abatement. The theory was, according to them, they were going to create a lot of jobs in Kenilworth. Turned out they built all the buildings, and most of them were automated warehouses, and they didn't hire anybody. But my question basically is, they were granted this tax abatement on their their assessment, did that ever expire and actually approach reality before Burke bought the place? Or was the $70 million that they got knocked off their assessment starting from an artificial... I would have to find out. I, I would assume the abatement is over. If they usually get the abatement for a certain uh, place of time. I think but I will find out for you. 10 years. Yeah, I will find out for you. Thank you. And I hate to throw another log on fire, but that, that one's been, you know, buzzing around the back of my head for a while. My name is Frank Pugliese. I've been living in this town for 50 some years. It's so amazing for an ex mayor to almost destroy this town for having only half a million dollars in insurance and this town must destroy to come here every month and criticize you guys. It's amazing. You almost destroy this town. And every month he comes here to the microphone and puts you guys down. That's all I got to say. We're done boiling up. Yeah, left, left. Yeah, that's not very good. Okay, uh, what was the town that was almost back up there? It was in South Jersey. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, the assembly, uh, assemblyman, uh, yeah, the, 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 the big power broker down south. Uh, oh, the north coast. North coast. No, he's the he's the insurance broker, the assemblyman from uh, South Jersey. Uh, he's, he's, he wants to actually because it for the it almost had it did have a detrimental effect on that on that town. He was proposing new legislation that would uh, actually curtail the extent of the liability that a municipality would have in the, in these types of scenarios where you have a a, a major tax a major taxpayer appealing their taxes. So they would limit the amount of liability that this guy would have should they, at the end of the day, get the cost of litigation, uh, lose the uh, lose the appeal. So you have to buy insurance. No, it, it, it's it, no. It, what, it, what it is, what the, what the legislation was proposing was that I don't know how they would do it, but they would limit the liability, the tax liability of the town, or the injury to the town to the extent that the appeal. Would not go their way. So this was some town in South Jersey recently? Uh, yeah, yeah. There, there, was, there was a huge write up. Yeah. December, last November. Exactly. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was the, the whole section of the Star Ledger. Okay. Now, as far as Merck and the uh, assessment, I don't know how that works. So there was some deal where they got it dropped, but the property values changed and all that. Mm -hmm. So is there a time period where it's reopened or if they build anything where you look at it or? Is it going to be that same value for the next five years or locked in until 14? But I mean, as of course, anybody's available to make a tax appeal, frankly, 
I mean, we've heard that they won't. I don't. I don't know. You know, we're not corporate part. They may. They acknowledge. Can't say they aren't. Then everybody who comes up in arms. If they do, they give us the gentleman's word that they're good until 2014. Then we'll take it from there. Oh, so they won't appeal, but in 2014. Well, they're not allowed to appeal. Right. All right. But what about yeah. raising? What about going higher? I mean, could you reassess their property higher at any time? They built. They. Uh, taking out permits for reconstruction, so yes, those those portions mm -hmm. that are for reconstruction can be reassessed. Okay. Now or after now, that's the new research. Yes, when they when they do the the uh, finish the reconstruction, yeah. those portions are assessable. Okay. But just so I understand it, to get a total reassessment of the property, the whole town would have to be reassessed. I mean, you can't just do that. No, you can't spot reassess. Okay. So the next time. All right. Well, pretty much out.